Viruses and malware are difficult to remove. They hide their part in your system, and when you remove the malware, the hidden part regenerates the whole malware. That's why you could not completely clean your system. In this video, you will know why does malware keep coming back. Also, we will tell you how to fix the virus that keeps coming back problem. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Why does malware keep coming back? Malware hides in your computer. To make it difficult to remove, cybercriminals design the malware to hide in your system. When the malware enters your system, it creates multiple copies of itself and hides it, while the actual malware keeps running. When you scan with security software, it catches the malware running. However, the hidden part of the malware is still there. That hidden part downloads the malware again in your system. It could be you. Most of the time, it comes back because of the actions you take. If you remove the malware and take the same action that causes the malware infection in the first place, it will infect your system again. Malware such as adware and hijackers attach themselves with some genuine-looking software mostly with free or pirated software. So if you are a person who loves pirated and free software, you will never get rid of the malware. Each time you install them, they infect your system. How to fix a virus that keeps coming back. In order to fix malware that keeps coming back, you need to make sure that you don't repeat the same action that causes the infection. For example, you should not install free or pirated software and stop visiting shady websites on the internet. Now follow the below instructions to delete the malware from your system permanently. 1. Scan your PC with Malwarefox Anti-Malware. Download Malwarefox Anti-Malware from the link in the description. Now run the installer. Follow the instructions to install it on your PC. Once the program is installed, it will download the latest signatures from the servers. Once it is ready, press the Scan button and let the whole scan get completed. You will see some detected threats. Click Next to clean your PC. Two, remove unwanted programs. In this step, we will remove the suspicious program. Go to the Start button and type Control Panel. Then click on it to open. Then click on Uninstall a program. Now you will see the list of all installed programs on your PC. Carefully observe each application and select programs that you don't need and don't remember installing. Then click on the Uninstall button. Now follow the instructions to remove it from your PC. 3. Remove temp files and reset browsers. Some malware hides in the temporary files, so you need to clear the temporary files. Press the Windows plus R button, then type percentage, temp, percentage, and press Enter. Now you will see the temporary files. Press Control plus A button to select all files. Then press the Shift plus Delete button to remove these files permanently. You might need to give administrator rights to delete some files, and some others won't simply delete as they might be in use. You can skip those files. Similarly, you can reset the browsers to remove any residue. Resetting Google Chrome. Open Settings and scroll down and click on Advanced. Then scroll down again and click on Restore Settings to their original defaults. Then confirm your action by clicking on Reset Settings. Resetting Mozilla Firefox. Click on the Menu button, then click Help. Now select Troubleshooting Information. Now click on Refresh Firefox. Now confirm your action by clicking on Refresh Firefox. Resetting Microsoft Edge. Click on the Menu button, then click on Settings. Now click on Reset Settings from the left sidebar. Then click on Restore Settings to their default values. Now click on Reset to confirm your action. 4. Use Adware Cleaner to remove stubborn adware. 
To make sure there isn't any infection that remains, you can scan your PC with Adware Cleaner. Download the Adware Cleaner from the link in the description. Then run the installer. Click Yes in the UAC pop-up. Now read the license agreement and click on I agree. Now click on the Scan Now button. Once the scan is completed, you need to click on the Quarantine button to remove the detected threats into the quarantine. Save all your current work and click on Continue, then restart your PC. After restarting the PC, open Adware Cleaner, then click on the Quarantine tab. Select all the threats, click on the Delete button. 5. Use TDSS Killer to remove rootkits. Rootkits are known to hide malware. Download the TDSS Killer from the link in the description. Now run it. Click Yes in the UAC pop-up, read and accept the license agreement, then accept the KSN statement, then press the Start Scan button. If any thread is found, select the action and click on Continue. Six. Disable Google Sync and Rescan. If you are facing issues with the Google Chrome browser, it might be due to the Google Sync feature. The malicious settings are getting synced with the Google server, and it comes back when you remove the malware from your system. It is a good idea to disable and clear the sync, then clean your PC. Open Settings in Google Chrome. Then click on Sync and Google Services. Now click on Manage What You Sync. Then use the toggle switch to disable all the sync options. Then go back and click on Review Your Synced Data. Then you will see Sync Data in a new tab. Then scroll down and click on Reset Sync. Now scan your PC again with Malwarefox Anti-Malware and remove the detected threats. Then you can enable Google Sync. The virus keeps coming back problem should be fixed now. If you are still facing some issues, then comment down below and we will try to come up with a solution. Share this video with your friends to raise the awareness. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to get notifications for the videos on computer security.